Hello, uh, UW Baraboo and Richland students. It's Jessica, and I'm here to go over kind of an overview of what you should be working on this week. So this week brings us to preparing to build your professional website using Google Sites. So you'll need to go back to Classroom, then click on the Class Work tab, then scroll down to this week for the week of 9-7-20 and open up creating your professional website. Every educator uh, that is striving to provide excellent communication to students, parents, and community members will build a professional website. I would say I built my first when I was student teaching and have never gone a year without having one. Um, so you might be thinking, well, wouldn't Google Classroom suffice? Google Classroom is a lockdown environment that runs more like on a timeline. Your website is a landing place for all of your content and reflections. So it's very common to, for teachers to have both. Now, how you make your site is up to you. You can use Wix, Weebly, WordPress, but if you're not familiar with web design, you'll want to consider Google Sites. In our Google Classroom, if you go to the Classwork tab and scroll down to creating your professional website, I've left you some links for your consideration. The first one is a how-to video from Michelle Forway, uh, author of or owner of Pocketful of Primary YouTube channel. She's a teacher, a fourth grade teacher, I believe, out wet east somewhere. Uh, and she will walk you through how she uses Google Sites. Then you will also see a, a link to everything a teacher needs to know about ADA compliance. It's a summary. Uh, however, it should get you thinking of the obligations that we all have as designers uh, for making sure that our work is accessible to all learners, all viewers online. Then I've given you three additional links to digital resources to help design your site. Uh, if you do use Bitmoji in conjunction with Snapchat, it is possible to install Bitmoji into your browser in the extensions area. Uh, and that way you can launch Bitmoji from the browser and copy and paste various Bitmojis into your website, Google Doc, or even slides. The icons from the Noun project are outstanding. They're clean. They would look great on your website, another possibility. And lastly, the Emoji Keyboard by Joy Pixels is another extension that provides you with a wide range of uh, emojis that you can insert into your website, Google Classroom, email, even social media posts. Very handy. Then the last couple of items would be a sample template that I'm suggesting that you model yours after. Then my website in the top corner. Note that my website is never finished either. And it's a very uh, humbling experience to constantly be evolving as a writer and one who is documenting my growth as an educator. So note that my site is not finished either. And then the last item would be a Google form for you to fill out once you've published your website. I need to know your website and your Twitter handle, because in this class, we'll be uh, looking at both frequently, uh, how you leverage technology to, to share your content, to tell your digital story, but also Twitter uh, and other social media outlets, how you leverage your professional or personal learning network to connect with other educators and continue learning. So in another video, I'll show you how you can get started with Google Sites.